Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I am inside again in Nebraska. This wind is just not letting up. So a lot of my recent videos are with sort of a new background instead of the 500 yard uh, range. Anyway, I wanna talk about the Saber, PSA's Saber. Now, a lot of you are familiar with Palmetto State Armory. The Saber is their uh, elite AR. So they have it in several different calibers now, the 556 the 308 and the 65 Creedmoor. Uh, there may be a few others that I'm missing. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to review their 308 upper. Now, this is a full PSA gun. I mean, obviously I have some modifications, but what I want to do is just see um, what kind of groups we can get with this. Uh, you know, what exactly is the Saber? What's different about this? Um, is it, you know, is it worth the extra coin? Anyway, these are all things that we're going to look into. Let's just check it out and see, see what we can do with the Saber 308. I'm Drew Case. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you honest reviews, no pulpit, no podium, and definitely no politics. So what I want to do is I want to cover the Sabre, the 308. I've got an 18-inch. Let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech and see what we've got to get started with. This is kind of out of the box. I just want to show you what we've got going on for this review. I've got one of Athlon's, the Kronos. This is their flagship. This is the top of the line optic. This thing is awesome. You're going to want to check that review out. But I wanted something really high power, um, crystal clear glass. So this is the 4 to 5 by 29 by 56. Anyway, the Saber upper, and I have already seasoned the barrel and fired this quite a bit and got it zeroed. You know, as we move down, I, I will say this is really slim. I do honestly love the feel of this. It's it's kind of a unique contour, and I, I like that. Okay, we've got a lot of real estate for M-Lock. And then this part, I'll be honest, the first time that I grabbed it, I thought they had like a rubber insert or something in the M-Lock, and that's actually the aluminum. Now, some of you may... I guess uh, wish that you had that as M lock. I like it. it, it it's very comfortable, and, you know. And then we just come down to the end, and we've got a muzzle device. Okay, so for the lower, I actually do have a PSA lower. This is one of the older models. You know, a PI10 multi. It is not the Saber, in my opinion. And some of you are going to disagree. Um, I think it's far less important on the lower. But with that said, I do have. Um, one of Trigger Tech's diamond in here, uh, triggers. It is a match grade trigger. I've got it dialed down to, yeah, about two pounds. And that is awesome, guys. Um, that's going to get me what I want for the trigger. Um, the grip, you know, that's the PSA. And then we did, um, a review on this, the Fab Defense, the impact, the recoil absorbing, it does help. Some people, you know, think, uh, you know, snake oil, I've heard it called. I would disagree. I think this works very efficiently and effectively, and I've had shoulder reconstruction, and I'm actually in, in rehab now, and I notice a difference. Anyway, so this is the lower that I'm going to use with the Sabre upper, and I do have the ambidextrous fire control. So I've got all this put together. I've actually been doing some shooting with it. I've got this zeroed. Let's just get outside and start doing some shooting and see what we can do with the Sabre. Okay, now real quick, while we're working on the Sabre, I'm also gonna be doing a review with this Athlon, the Kronos. It's 
awesome. I love it. Um, I've already done a ton of Trigger Tech reviews, but we've got that in there. Okay, so and I'm then, getting the Sabre sighted in. So, you know, I usually don't do a whole lot of video and bore people while I'm sighting in. What I've got here is this is some really old military surplus ball ammo. I know the companies are like, you know, they really don't want me using this, breaking in the guns, but you know what? I've got a ton of it and it's awesome, but you know, check that out. Wait, wait till you see the groups that we just got as we're breaking in with this. Hey, real quick guys, I wanna show you the field of view that I've got here. I absolutely love this optic. It is crystal clear. Those targets are about the size of a nickel. I've got a video on how to season a barrel and I'll put that link there. But as we're seasoning it, check out that groove. I, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm super impressed. I mean, we're under 10 rounds through this barrel seasoning it with that ammo and that's what we got and that's awesome because i've got about a thousand rounds of this so you know after i'm done with the review i got a lot of awesome plinking ammo let's just see what we can do at 500 with that uh that cheap military ball ammo not sure where this will be at but uh let's just give it a try Okay. That was fun. That was using the 10. So I, I you know, it's not necessarily a BDC that has to do with the MOAs. So I used the 10 MOA line, which is probably about right for that ammo. And we were just nailing it. Okay, now one nice thing about first focal plane is everything stays the same on the reticle, whether we're dialed all the way down to six. I've got it at 15 because that's gonna allow me a little bit better eye relief for faster follow-up shots because I want to see how fast we can get these on or off at 500 um, and dialed into 29. Um, that's just not very forgiving for really fast um, target acquisition. If, and if you've shot or looked through telescopes, it's kind of the same thing. That's what I wanted to do. And this is using the ball ammo when we get in. So in the break-in phase, we should be to the point where I wanna start introducing some of the ammo that I wanna review and some high quality ammo to see what kind of groups we can get. So that was kind of just having fun breaking in the barrel. I'll show you what we were seeing here at 500. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing at 500. That's with the illuminator on, and that's dialed back to a 15 power. Man, I tell you, that glass is crystal clear. That's working. There's 500 yards on the 29 power. Okay, hey guys, I'm seasoning the barrel here, and I almost never do this. I, it really is not a big deal seasoning the barrel, but I just ran... Um, a brush through and then a patch and that's the second patch and that is exceptionally unusual to come clean so fast so early in the breakdown process and especially after shooting that super old military surplus ammo I just I had to share second patch guys Okay, this is the order that I'm going to shoot them in on the target, going left to right. We'll do the 150s and end with the 175. 
Okay, so here's what we are getting with the Sabre. This was the 150 grain, the full metal jacket. Now that's, that's a nice group right there. I mean, that's MOA. Um, that one kind of opened up. This is a soft point. <laughs> that's awesome. I actually had the same experience with the 6.5 Creedmoor and the soft point in that red box. It just loved it. Nice, tight groups. Um, you know, we've got 10 shots here. There's four touching right there. Um, yeah, that's, that's nice. Um, this was the black tip. And so there's three shots right there. That's awesome. Um, we spread out a little bit more here. And then we did the 10 shots. And, you know, it kind of string all touching. Not bad. The barrel definitely uh, responds different to cold. And then when it warms up. And this is the 175 grain, uh, the Sierra Match King. That is a nice tight group there. And, and then 10 shots and, you know, kind of opened up a little bit, but that's- So the barrel really has been broken in. I've already put uh, probably a couple hundred rounds to this. The groups I think are about as tight as they're gonna get. I've had a lot of fun with it. And then I've got, um, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 different loads. And I think that's important. You know, when we really want to show what this is capable of, we've got to show a whole lot of different loads, different companies. And that is, we're, we're going to find out for sure what this is absolutely capable of with the ammo that I've got. Hey guys, real quick, if you are not familiar with my crazy, stupid deals, you go to my webpage. It's an email subscription. Costs you absolutely nothing and you can unsubscribe at any time. Um, I'm fantastic at finding crazy, stupid deals. So, you know, I get all these emails, I find the deals, I find the sales, and I put them together on a list. And I usually send that out about once a day. Um, and people love it. They save a ton of money. You're going to want to check that out. Now, I also do the same thing on my X page. It's a little bit different, a lot of the same stuff, but it's more real time as they're coming in and I'm finding them. I'll put them on my X page first, especially the ones that uh, are going to go out of stock fast. Now, the email list is much more comprehensive, but the X page has them immediate. So if you're worried about things going out of stock, anyway, you're going to want to check those out. You're also going to want to check out my webpage where I've got blogs, um, t-shirts and all that stuff. Anyway, back to the review. Okay. So these are the four different types of AAC I've got currently for the 308. Um, the others kind of come in and out of stock a lot, but this is the four that I got my hands on. Let's just start off with this. Um, using the saber and see what we can get for groups. Nice group, guys, for range ammo. Um, yeah, can't wait to show you that. Sweet. All right, well, the wind's not affecting that, I don't think. Nice. <laughs> okay. Well, it liked that one for sure. Okay, so the wind and everything, I wanted to run a control. So I wanted to try a completely different brand of ammo and see how that does. Let's run five rounds of this through the Saber. And then let's run five rounds through a completely different platform, a bolt action. See how the two compare. All right, let's go check out these groups. All right, guys. So... With the Sabre, now, um, that one was the Ruger, but that was the Sabre using the same Federal ammo. <laughs> I mean, the Sabre, I don't know. You decide which is better. Okay, here's here's the Sabre with um, all the AAC ammo. Okay, that's the full metal jacket. Guys, that's, that's really, that's pretty good. You know, here's three shots. This is the soft point, and then two there touching. That's the black tip. Okay, and then that's the SMK. Now that one did the best, the flyer. Now, you know, it's so cold out, that barrel chills really fast. That was the first shot. And then there's 
four shots. That's awesome. It, it, yeah, you know, that, that says it all for the Sabre, I think. Okay, so I want to try some different ammo here, you know, for variety. So I'm going to start with the heaviest load. We got a 180, um, and then we've got the 168 grain interlock, the 168 grain uh, AMAX, and then we've got 150 grain SST, you know, 150 grain full metal jacket, Tula, and then we've got probably the lightest load, the 147 or 100, sorry, 145 grain. The idea is sort of start off with the slowest, you know, because we're going to wait five minutes in between. Anyway, let's see what we get for groups with these. Yeah, guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take some Tula ammo. We're going to put it through the saber. I want to see what I can get for a group. And also, you know, I'm just curious how it does. Um, I'm sure it probably voids a warranty, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I bet I bet some of you are surprised. So that's our Federal, the 180 grain uh, soft point, you know, just the cheapest, the cheap hunting ammo. There's five shots, four holes, not bad. Um, that is our Hornady 168 grain interlock. Uh, you know, that's not bad either. Get rid of the flyer. Yeah, tell me, tell me that's not awesome. Okay, five shots. That's the Hornady, the 168 grain uh, Amax. Nice, loves that ammo. Okay, then we had uh, the Hornady 150 grain SST, you know, five shots, four holes. That's the Tula, guys. You know, every, everybody disses Tula, but... For what it, at least it used to cost, um, that was awesome range ammo. Guys, I kid you not, that, that is the PPU, the 145 grain M80 ball. Yeah, basically mil spec ammo. Um, back when I got a bunch of it, it was dirt cheap. It was 33 cents around. Anyway, guys, there you go. I'm wrapping this up. I have compared, what do we have, uh, seven, eight, nine different kinds of ammo. There you go. There you go, guys. I hope you found the video helpful. I hope it answered some of your questions. You know, if you liked it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That really does help the most, and I appreciate that. Be sure to like and comment. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're on the range, guys, everybody's watching us. These days, it's worse than ever. So that makes us ambassadors for the Second Amendment, whether we like it or not. So do all of us and yourself a favor. Be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.